Modern warfare is a noisy affair, in a literal sense. Radar systems are the eyes and ears of modern militaries, scanning the skies and seas for threats. But what happens when those eyes and ears are silenced? Enter the anti-radiation missile, a specialized weapon designed to seek out and destroy enemy radar installations. In this arena of electronic warfare, two contenders stand out. Brazil's MAR-1 and India's Rudram-1, each vying for the title of top dog in the anti-radiation missile game. These missiles represent the cutting edge of electronic warfare technology. Get ready for a clash of the titans as we pit these two anti-radiation heavyweights against each other in a battle for air supremacy. Hailing from the heart of South America, the MAR-1, short for Missile Anti-Radiation, Anti-Radiation Missile, is Brazil's answer to the growing threat of sophisticated enemy radar systems. Developed by Mectron, a subsidiary of Brazil's Odebrecht conglomerate, in collaboration with the Brazilian Air Force, the MAR-1 is a testament to Brazil's growing prowess in the realm of high-tech weaponry. The MAR-1 boasts a range of over 60 kilometers, allowing it to engage targets from a safe distance. The MAR-1 is a game-changer for the Brazilian Air Force, providing them with a potent weapon to suppress enemy air defenses and pave the way for successful air operations. On the other side of the globe, India, a nation known for its burgeoning technological prowess, has developed its own anti-radiation champion, the Rudram-1. This missile, meaning remover of sorrow in Sanskrit, is a testament to India's commitment to achieving self-reliance in defense technology. Developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, the Rudram-1 is a symbol of India's growing military might. The Rudram-1 boasts a longer range than the MAR-1, with estimates suggesting it can strike targets up to 250 kilometers away. The missile is designed to be carried by a variety of Indian aircraft, including the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI and the Dassault Mirage 2000. The Rudram-1 is a game-changer for the Indian Air Force, providing them with a potent weapon to dominate the electronic battlefield. Section 4 Technical Showdown a tale of two missiles. Now, let's get down to the nitty-gritty and compare these two missiles head-to-head. -head. The MR-1 utilizes a passive radar homing system, meaning it relies on detecting the enemy's radar emissions to guide itself to the target. The Rudram-1, on the other hand, is a bit more sophisticated. It employs a combination of inertial navigation, GPS guidance, and passive radar homing. This multi-mode guidance system makes the Rudram-1 more accurate and difficult to jam. In terms of warhead size, the MR-1 is believed to carry a slightly larger warhead than the Rudram-1. However, the Rudram-1's advanced guidance system might compensate for its smaller warhead by ensuring a more precise hit. It's a classic case of brawn versus brains in the world of anti-radiation missiles. Section 5 operational histories, simulated successes and real-world potential. While both the MAR-1 and Rudram-1 have been tested extensively, neither missile has seen actual combat yet. The MAR-1 has reportedly performed well in simulations and test firings, demonstrating its ability to accurately engage and destroy radar targets. The same can be said for the Rudram-1. Despite the lack of actual combat experience, both missiles have generated significant interest from other countries. This international interest highlights the growing demand for advanced anti-radiation missiles in today's increasingly complex battlefield. Section 6 Strategic Implications Shifting the Balance in Electronic Warfare The development and deployment of advanced anti-radiation missiles like the MAR-1 and Rudram-1 have significant strategic implications for modern warfare. By effectively suppressing enemy air defenses, anti-radiation missiles can pave the way for successful air operations, allowing friendly aircraft to operate with greater freedom and effectiveness. Moreover, the possession of such advanced weaponry serves as a deterrent, making potential adversaries think twice before engaging in conflict. The battle for supremacy in the electromagnetic spectrum has just begun.